Are we on? Yeah, we've been going for Do ages. you guys right. know about... Wait, did you film all the stuff about... Photo- wait, stop photos, don't put that in the, bo- in the blog. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Decanter Wankers. Uh, this week is a really, really special episode because we have our friends Jen and John. Where, where is John from? Uh, where uh, are you from, John? I am. Uh, I am an English person. It's, it's He's that. our first English guest. John has brought us the wine of his people. Uh, <laughs> a 2007 um, Bacchus. What can you tell us about this wine, John? Uh, so I can tell you a bit about the vineyard, but not the wine. Okay. Would that be helpful? That's totally brilliant. Uh, so yeah, Sharpham's is down in Devon, uh, and it's been going, well, the estate itself has been around for about a thousand years, uh, but it's been making wine and cheese uh, for about 35 years. So I brought you some wine, but no cheese. Where so is the cheese? I, well, I bought this a couple of weeks ago, so the cheese wouldn't have, wouldn't have made wouldn't it. Have but it. if it's any consolation, my dad got a lot of nice cheese for Father's Day, so. Oh, thank you. Mm. Oh, that doesn't smell like anything I've really smelt before. Grab a glass, guys. Oh, okay, if you insist. Arms are sharp. You are. I've got a short arm, too. Yeah, so this was a total random purchase for us because uh, we wanted to get the sparkling wine because they're known that venue for their sparkling wine. They've won quite a few awards, and I think the French have come over and started nicking their grapes as well. Um, but this was the end of the bin. It was very like the one or two, two, yeah. one or two on the shelf, so we thought, okay, well, let's let's get that as well. Mm. So have you have you had this before? No, this is the first time I'm trying it. So utter gamble because it, it could be could be bad. Super aqua, but the like one nose. Oh yeah, the, one the Louise one nose technique. I think that's peony. I think it's really sweet. Smell. I was gonna say usually when I say green apple, I mean like green delicious, but this is like red apple. Uh-huh. This is like proper off a tree that yeah. day apple. Really nice. Mm-hmm. So Bacchus is a grape that's kind of it's a German grape. And it's um it, it's a kind of distant relation to Riesling, so um okay. that'll be why it's it's able to grow in the kind of slightly cooler, a uh, slightly wetter English climate. Yeah. Can we taste it? Of course you can. Go for it. I was waiting for you. Oh my! That is so fruity. It's very pleasant and quite Rieslingy actually. It's quite. It's really sweet. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's totally not what I was expecting. No, not yeah, literally not what I was expecting. What were you expecting, Jen? Chardonnay and something. <laughs> <laughs> no way, something really dry. We but had a, I'm saying not an argument, but a mild bickering which wine to pick because it was obviously a lot of pressure that we get you a nice wine because we didn't know. Those, we don't, I don't hate mm. this. Oh, I really like it. It's given me yeah. like um, like cherry blossoms and stuff like that. I mean, I know it's very sunny in Glasgow and the rest of the UK at the moment, but um, we've obviously been drinking a lot of white wines. A lot more, probably more because of you more than anything else, really. I mean, what was the... Inspiring the, a nation. It was the, the Porto de Cavalera store in the 1985 one. And it was like, oh, let's just drink mm. white wine forever. No, that, that was kind of the... And now we've just done nothing but drink white wine. Yeah. So, John, can you spew some more English wine knowledge at us? Do you okay. have any? Uh, yeah, so English wine's obviously got a lot better or the industry's got a lot better over the last six six years, or well, they've been mm-hmm. tracking it, should I say, um, a lot more since 2011. Um, and the, the profits are going up, the investment's going up, um, for sort of three or four reasons from what I could deduce. Um, one, obviously, uh, because of Brexit, um, that's putting a lot of pressure mm-hmm. on the import for Prosecco, Cava, Champagne, so English sparkling wine has been, is, is, is a new thing. It's mega vogue at the moment, the, uh, in New York especially, mega apparently. Vogue. Um, yeah, so it's it's the an English sparkling wine is the hot new thing to have on a, a menu in New York restaurants at the moment. That's mm-hmm. like a must have. Um, the wine knowledge is being shared amongst vineyards, so as opposed to it being competition, which you've probably got in other regions, they're all collaborating and and uh, and putting that, that all together. And uh, obviously, global warming um, yeah. is made the temperature slightly higher, so it's uh, easier to grow grapes. Even in Scotland, now you you've got vineyards springing up in Scotland as well. Yeah. Apparently using Russian grapes, I think, which was a bit weird to, to read. I didn't realise Russia had a wine industry, but apparently it does. So. Yeah, I don't think um, Scotland's had any viable success wine success. yet. There's fewer there Scottish 
if you're a Scottish vineyard and you would like us to come and shoot some stuff in your vineyard, we would be more than happy to bring our drone. Oh, definitely. Uh, we would love to come to Scotland. In fact, we'll just do it one we day. We love an excuse to get our drone out. We're acknowledging that global warming's a thing. I mean, I know it's yeah, topical it? at the moment because obviously, <laughs> what, what's it? Hitler's visiting the UK and he doesn't really want <laughs> global Well, warming. we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna definitely. It, yeah, it's, it's an indisputable fact that the climate's changed. Uh, so that's what's making wine viable here. That's what means that a lot of French champagne growers are now coming here to kind of. Yeah. Tassinger have set up shop in Kent. I don't know. It was a mm. car concern about that that they should have moved over. They've actually set up shop and they're doing sparkling wine. It means that England's a little bit in the summer. It's a little bit warmer, very slightly warmer, and a little bit drier. And um, it's the it's the kind of the sunlight, the sunshine hours, and the uh, drainage of the soil and the dryness that you need to worry about. Because if the soil's too too damp, um, or if conditions are too damp. Um, particularly around about April when the plants are budding, then that can cause huge issues and you don't get you don't get your wine. But um, for your sparkling wines, um, English vineyards are growing all the kind of champagne grapes, the Pinot Noir, the Chardonnay, and I don't know what other ones. Pinot um, Mini. I'm kind of a little bit excited about the prospect of in Britain having these. Like, like we've had this year, all these super snowy winters and really nice warm summers um, for the next few years before we uh, just fall into... I yeah, think you have a slightly more romanticised view of the snow this year than I do. So, yeah, probably. Yeah. Also, well, I mean, the snow is pretty, it but is very the, pretty. The, the hot weather, I just want the Scottish weather back. Oh, no, 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 no. We were sat out having a drink and where were we then? Down there, just off George Square. Yeah. We were sat outside having a drink and this girl walked by. What did she say? She said to her, then she was with a guy and she went, Dom, I think I hate to have Scottish weather back. See, for so people that aren't in Scotland just now, every every summer... Um, it's shit. Uh, well, yeah, even, you might get one or two warmish days, but even then, you need to bring a jacket, right? Even on the warmish days, you need to bring a jacket. Yeah. And true. for the last... I would say month and a half here, more than that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I've run out of summer clothes. Like, yeah. you, well, I mean, I even on the kind of cloudier days, it's been it's muggy frosted. and warm, and there's been no respite from it. It's just fucking weird. There's just a constant layer of sweat on the upper lip, which is excellent for your wine and not so good for your sleep patterns. Why is it excellent for your wine? Because we're producing better and better English All oh, right. Wine. I thought you meant like. Having a salty upper lip. I do that too. Like, <laughs> does like that a, cleanse your palate between mouthfuls? Like, does it smell like, like a salon? Like, like a, just gives you something. Just like, just like, it's a, like, like what is it? Like a, a, like a margarita like a salt. Margarita, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so why why do you guys like drinking wine? Wow, that's uh, that's like a meaning oh, of life question, it's isn't it? It's tasty. It's tasty. It's tasty. <laughs> Well, we, well, we t start talking about the um, sparkling wine, even though we're not finished the... Yeah. Well, everybody should just down this. Okay, um, so the other thing is, by the way... Like, on three, or... We... <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't we score it as well? And we should give it a score. Oh. And we're not allowed to do seven. Seven is the... Yeah. Seven's a polite, like, yeah, seven. Yeah, seven. Because mm. everybody... Oh, yes, yeah, so give it a seven. seven. Right, out of ten, John. Can I go 8.2? I do like it. But I'm kind of like, it's quite sweet, I don't know. You're allowed to go up to 6.9. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go 6.9. So, like, I like it, and I would drink it, but I don't, like, love it. Ah, oh, I need to work out my scoring. Yeah. It's, like, schedule. I'm going eight. I'm going eight. The reason that we're drinking this today was, uh, a few years ago, it was my dad's 70th birthday. And uh, I don't know if you ever try to buy presents for your loved ones, especially your parents who have lived a long, long yeah. life and literally have everything you could possibly imagine or yeah, want. Yeah, they have all the all the statues, all the ornaments, all the jewelry. Statues. Statues. What's yeah? What's kind of statues? I think I'm thinking of my gran who had like every statue under the sun. I mean, what do you mean by statues? Yeah, what like what? statues. Mainly of frogs. It was my dad's 70th birthday and uh, yeah, you, it, it, it'd been a few years of buying crap from B&Q and it just going in the shed and it being worthless and I was like, right, what, what can I get this guy? 
So I thought instead of getting a present, I thought we'd do something every mm-hmm. every month for a year. So I said, right, it's your seventieth. So every month on the month, we're gonna we're gonna do some. We're gonna go out and have an experience, so cute, um, which me. was a really good idea. It really paid off. Uh, so we went for like a jazz night, like in London, because he, he really loves jazz. Uh, we went to the Royal Marines Corps boxing final, like a black, like black tie kind of event. Um, and one of the ones we went to a vineyard, which is literally just around the corner from where they live, which was Sharpham's. And I sort of looked online, and they are oh, award winning sparkling wine and cheese and all that. So that was. That was what initially sort of hooked me in, and um, we went there, and it was we had this whole sort of vineyard tour day, and uh, and that was the one, the sparkling one. I was like, wow, that's nicer than most champagnes I've drunk. Oh, okay. you've hate to know. Oh, so much hate. hate to know. Can we? Can we yeah, go one. Sniff it. I feel like oh, so, so you don't burl this one because it's oh. fizzy, no burling. You can burl it. You can burl it. Yeah. yeah. You you can also decant. Like there's a huge. People get quite heated on the internet about whether or not I have to say, that smells fucking mm. gorgeous. Uh, sparkly wine. That smells... Uh, is oh, you're right in there, Jen. Go on for it. Mm. I'm tasting. Oh, wow. Mmm. 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 Deb and they speak in a particularly wonderful dialect. Sort of, uh, can you do it? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> can he do it? So if you're from Devon, you talk a little bit like this. Uh, oh. a little bit. And they call themselves Janners. And that's that's how they talk down in Devon. You should have done a whole vlog in that. Accent. Yeah, I would be. Jen yeah. doesn't really get made fun of, eh? But that's how she, that, that's why, how she does. Why would people make fun of me? <laughs> she's she's oh, a nice. delight. Uh, I know about things. There's not very many little kind of quirks that you have that people go like... I mean, I feel like John has a lot more. It's because he's English. <laughs> There's so much acid in there, like, yeah. and not in a negative way, yeah. and that kind of really, like, you know, like it really freshens it. Um, so well with fish and chips. But, it, but it's still so creamy. probably get on delivery, get some fish and chips, mm-hmm. just saying. It's got that creamy character that you want from um, a sparkling wine made in the Champagne Method, which is what this is. It actually kind of hits, and then it takes you a minute to kind of, like, fully... Get it? It's like mm. a wee slap in the face and then you go, oh, I've just been slapped in the face. Does that mm. make sense? Yeah, I completely. It's got those kind of yeasty notes. It's got that kind of bready oh, yeah. character. It's it was very, very nice. And actually... It's quite sexy, isn't it? Is that, I know. Like, you know so much about the flavour and smells of wine. I, I actually don't. Oh, yeah. Jen and John are very, very oh, yeah. fancy. Swank. If you want to invite them to an event just to bring up like the caliber of guests, that is your couple. Yeah, it is. Fancy. I, know, I, am so fancy. I am fancy. You no, know, we've we've been hitting the dessert wines quite heavily recently. Yeah. Mm. But you guys introduced fortified us to that wine. Lovely Italian. We like so, fortified wine. We had wine another great in Portugal and Rye. We had another mm. brilliant dessert wine. We did, didn't we? Yeah. What, what was even it? was it? We could look at the menu and remember. Was it definitely about, it was a Valpola Cholo, wasn't it? I don't know. Ooh. Also, you always get the names wrong. I do, this is true. But because the one the one we really liked, the one we tried, the one we bought from Good Spirits. Yeah, it wasn't lovely, that Lovely one. Jane introduced us to Good Spirits. Oh, Jane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, John and Jane are friends with Jane as well, aren't they? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if Jane would necessarily <laughs> I mean, we're, 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 that, we're that, are. yeah. Can we score it? Mm. <laughs> Either one's fed? Most definitely. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. But we have that meat. We should eat the meat, like a tray of meat, and order pizza. Eat the meat while we order pizza. That's a fantastic idea. Um, Yeah. No, 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 you first, come. I'm still thinking. Almost a nine. Ooh. Are you so generous? 8.8. I was going to go 8.5, which I feel is strong. I'm going to go 8.8 as well, I think. See, because of a. It's. Like sparkle mine, can we do cheers? Of course we can, yeah. Oh, Thank you for having a sight though. Thank you so yeah, much for bringing this. No, no, it's been, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Mm. Yeah, this I'm one is, this one is made. There, so way. pleased with this. Are you yeah. steaming now? Are you steaming now? Yeah. I'm definitely tipsy. Oh, I've got a buzz on, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah mm. You are, because you almost like my face.